That was easy. Not really. Well, welcome back, everybody. Space engineers. This guy here. So we have these new sorting blocks. Well, they're really like a filter block. But uh, I think they're still useful. They could be better, but this is their first implement implementation. There we go. That's the word. So yeah, I'm sure they might tweak them and whatnot. But this is kind of cool because it allows just some basic... Item, item, management, uh, item management without having to use a script or a mod or anything like that. So I think this is a good rudimentary block to have at our disposals. And hopefully we can do some cool stuff with it. So what I'm doing with it right now, um, one of my problems is refining. I've been manually just loading things in the refinery and keeping everything else off. I haven't allowed it to just constantly pull. So I always have ore sitting there, which probably could get refined, but because I try to prioritize certain things like um, platinum or whatnot, I don't want it really doing anything else other than the platinum. Oh, didn't grab enough. So this way, I can just tell it which ores are okay to send in. Um, so I had one at first, and then I was going to do the little connector collector trick to get things back. But I thought, why do we need to do that? What if we just whitelist um, the ingots, basically, right? Only ingots should come out of out of the refinery, and that will allow ingots to get passed through. And the refineries themselves should push the things out. And they should go to a cargo container. And then once they get to the cargo containers, the sorter should put them where they need to go, I, I think. So that's the plan. Not sure if that's going to work. So right now we should have the refineries. Uh, the fair system is on. And if we go look at them, uh, you can see a bunch of them did grab a bunch of stuff. I actually did remove stone, so none of them should get stone anymore. But they had a chance to grab it. And it was a one-way connection, so I couldn't really send them back too easily. So those ones you can see, but when we get down here, these ones are set up to do just platinum and uranium. So whatever they happen to grab. And we could further refine it uh, so that we do have some ones, or some dedicated to just do a certain ore. So we could have three refineries during uranium all the time, or, or anything like that. And then I'm sure these would be good for just programming. If programming can mess around with those lists, then you can dynamically change, change stuff. So you could say, if you had one on each of your... Uh, refineries. I guess you could go like, I want five of them to do iron, or six of them to do platinum, three of them to do this. You could probably input that somehow using a program block, which would then rewrite the whitelist for the individual ones to make that happen. So probably a lot of potential there. Uh, I know a lot of what can be done with this block could already be done with the mods and stuff, so it's not a huge deal for some people, but I like it. I like it. So we are back. Um, it's a bit foggy in space today. I kind of forgot about the fog. It actually helps for determining distance a lot better. I had the fog disabled, I think just because the skybox did it, or one of the skyboxes I once installed disabled it, and I never put it back on. So I don't know, do you guys like the fog? It kind of gives some depth. I'm not totally against it. Um, I am noticing my frame rate is terrible. I don't know if the fog had anything to do with that, or just some other things in the game. But before us sits the marvelous Skimmer. And as far as Skimmer's name, we asked for names in the cooperative series, and we got a bunch of them. And a lot of them were really cool, really funny, and clever, and all that. Um, but nothing really struck out as, yes, that is, that is the name. So if any of you do have a suggestion that for a name that you would prefer over Skimmer, and I agree with it, and I like it, I have no problem renaming the ship appropriately. Skimmer is just its, its, um, its pet name. <laughs> so there we go. Skimmer is ready, ready to fly. Well, let's get in. All right. So without dilly dallying too much, we'll try it, him out, her out in its current form. I did add in some uranium, so we are self-sufficient. And, and let's get in. So there is a sensor. We could do a little walkthrough first. So there's a sensor that knows when you are close, so you don't have to open the doors. So as long as you're in here, these doors stay on. And then we have the various sensors all over the place. I think that's one of the turning ones. I don't know if we're using the turning one, to be honest. Roll left. This is probably forward thrust, okay, and then up there is the tilt down one. 
Nope, tilt up appears to tilt down. What? Nope, tilt up assists. How about you? Tilt down. Okay, so there's tilt down. So, and then anything else? And then just all the gyros that are required for the builds. Timer box there. Most of the timer box, however, are up here. So there we go. And a couple beacons for so that we can uh, send messages and stuff for... Um, one of them's named Mayday, one of them's named Shutdown, but with programming we could expand on that more and do more messages. So here we are. Let's not kill the crane. So the crane was quite successful, I think. Oh, don't burn the crane either. Um, I didn't end up using the camera for the final little build there, mainly just for... I thought that that view I had I thought was kind of neat. So I thought it was more important to try to maintain that view. So I ended up quickly going over the area, and then I would talk... Oh, wait. Hi, Torwing. I would have flown into you. Um, can I turn on my big thruster? It's got more power. More power! Let's try. Oh, no, wait. It's not even called, is it? Hang on. Thor. No? I need to find a, a good way to name override thrusters so I can easily... No, nope, I didn't name it. Okay, override thruster... Small thruster. I think the big thruster is actually renamed to a small thruster just because of the program block. Ah, uh, all right. Well, we'll just go. We'll just go. So yeah, that um that worked. So I quickly went over it just so the welders could place the block, and then I turned off the pr projector block. And then I went over and made sure I kind of completed everything. And then between passes, I kind of occasionally got out of the control cockpit and and went over with my hand welder just to see if everything was done. Oh, man, you are so slow. It's okay. It's not really meant to go that fast. That's okay. Let's head down. I should probably also turn that off. So we will deploy Skimmer on this asteroid. Now, the issue we have right now is the performance is tanking. Which means the more we do, the worse it's getting. Right now I'm getting 20-ish frames per second, which is bearable. However, when it goes down lower than that, when it goes down to 15, I feel that is kind of too low. And probably noticeable in videos if I'm moving around a lot. So I need to find a way to increase performance. I have one solution. I loaded up this world in creative. Well, a creative copy of this world, I should say. I... I I'm careful not to load this world up in creative because when you load up worlds in creative it gives unlimited inventories and if you have like a sorter or something that can start putting things all in the same cargo because that that cargo container can now hold infinite amount of storage and then if you convert the world back to survival um, a lot of that storage will get truncated and you'll end up losing a lot of stuff or you have the potential to lose a lot of stuff. So I usually just do a copy of, I'll save this world and make a duplicate of it, save as, and then that world, I, uh, my dampeners on, and that world I'll turn to creative. So I did that, and I just deleted this asteroid that you see, and we gained an additional 40 frames per second just from deleting this asteroid. So having this base right near this asteroid, unfortunately, isn't so good. So I think what we need to do keep hearing like beeping I guess it's in the game what we should do let me get out here for a second is uh, move the station maybe even far far away into empty space it would mean our gravity shaft would become kind of useless or we'd have to repurpose it or maybe make a a sequence of um or I think cannons of some kind that could send the ore out of this asteroid to a temporary holding area, which would launch the ore out. Or maybe in the ships that go back and forth could transport the ore um, back to this guy. So that's probably what we're going to have to do. And that would allow this guy ability to go around and around. I do want to move the station away from the asteroid a bit anyway, so that Skimmer wouldn't be able to like drive into him. That's not ideal. Okay, Skimmer, are you ready to show what you can do? I don't actually know. Okay. Like, he's got start, stop, emergency stop. Okay, that's all good. So we have... Let's take a look at those. So we can see what's going to happen. So we have start. And let's see here. Sequence one, two... 
Okay, some of this is broken. Good stuff. <laughs> I probably should have checked. Um, I'm wondering, if, when things get built with a blueprint, it seems, depending on the order, like if this chair gets built before these things get built, do they not active, get added to the control panel properly? Hmm. Okay, well, let me see how to set up, make sure everything's working, and then we'll test, test skimmer out. Not sure if I got everything right, but one way to find out is to start her up. Him up. It up. Are all ships she's? Should all ships be she's? I don't know. I think so. So what we have for a start, we'll just go over it quickly. Maybe. Does that not work? Okay. It's going to hit another timer block that does start sequence one. We'll take a look at that in a second. It does... The program block, so that speed modulator, the same one we have on Molar right now, just that speed controller, so that'll control how fast he moves. Uh, drills will turn on, forward thrusters turn on, I guess. Seems odd. Shouldn't the sensors determine that? Maybe they just turn on momentarily. Anyway, sensors, this is should be all of them. Maybe, I don't know. Oops, don't do that. Tilt forward rolls. Okay, whatever. Those ones turn on and hopefully start a thing up. Spotlights would normally turn on. I turn that off, though, so that they won't turn on because that'll affect performance more. Those little four welders I decided to turn on. It should turn the connector and the gravity. And then it should also turn off any emergency shutdown beacons that were going on before we restarted it. So the start sequence one doesn't do much. Um, all that is is for the toggling on and off of the detect asteroids. So if you, de it's my understanding, if you turn on a sensor and the field is in a manner such that like the asteroid is already inside of it, it doesn't get triggered. So if you turn on the sensors and it's already detecting the asteroid, it won't actually do that first trigger. So to get it to do that first trigger, if it happens to be close enough to the asteroid at the time, I'm toggling detect asteroid off or on off but depends what state it's currently in it's currently on so it's going to toggle it off and then in the next sequence or this is the first one actually this one turns it off and then triggers the one we just looked at sequence two so when it gets back to here it's on again and then it will be detecting and the sensors will act appropriately all right start on off dilly daddy let's go so we got a big thruster and i think a couple other ones that are for override now, where are we heading? Is it good enough? Sure. We're going to turn the collectors off for a second. We'll just see how quickly um, it gets filled up. Only going to be mining, like, stone pretty much here at the beginning. Uh, we are out of iron. I depleted my reserves building this guy. And queuing up a lot of parts. Yes, go. So I haven't thoroughly tested this sh ship very recently. Not since, like, the beginning of this series. Before the beginning of the series. That's probably the last time I really messed around. I did spend a little bit of time the other day uh, kind of updating and tweaking a little bit, but I will get you a blueprint of this, hopefully this episode. So check the description, and if it's not there, let me know in the comments, and I'll, I'll, I'll add it in after the fact. So it does have a gravity field that's supposed to collect the ores, doesn't work so good with the floating stuff. Let's turn on the gravity on the base. Grav shaft. That should take care of that stuff. Excellent. What I want to try to do, let's turn that off again. Grav. So if he was ejecting ores, let's turn on his connectors. Oh, he's stalemated. Stalled. He's not moving. What are you doing? Are your thrusters not on? He's not detecting asteroid. Might need to tweak his sensor fields a bit. So that's the other issue. If I give you... I'll give you the, the, the blueprint. I'll give you the blueprint now, but it may need fixing. <laughs> so if I find problems, I'll try to update it. I don't want to spend too much time doing that in video. But it looked like his forward one. Forward sensor. The one responsible for turning on the thrusters. Okay, he used to have a bouncing one. Because he'd 
be going basically so fast he'd bounce off the wall. So I had this bounce sensor to try to cushion that blow and get him back to mining quicker. But with the speed controller, I don't think that's necessary. So this is the one I believe is not working well. And let's find out why. So yeah, you see he can't see any asteroids, so we should decrease the level of that. There's no reason that can't be lower. Forward. Where are you? Forward thrust. So that's going to be bottom extend. And it looks like we could go... Uh, go to 7.5. And that brings the rectangle down. And now it's seeing asteroid again. Now the other issue is, should he be tilting down right now? Kind of looks like he should be. So let's see if that one's working right. This current gyro is off. Tilt down sensor. Turn you on. Okay. I uh, currently... That's not detecting any asteroids, so he should be tilting down. Sensor, tilt down. Let's take a look. Troubleshooting. Whoops, tilt down. Okay, here's your problem. <laughs> that broke. Okay, so we need timer down. So I put most of the action just into timer blocks so I could easily manipulate them, and they weren't dependent on groups. So there we go. That should get him tilting again. Um, I don't think I own the ship. Maybe I own parts of it. We might need to change ownership to all to me. So I wonder if all of them are broken. No. Okay, tilt up works. Tilt up assist. I don't remember what that is. So let's see. Uh, gyro tilt. That's not how you spell tilt. Let's just turn that one on for a second. It should correct itself. So he's going to tilt down until that sensor detects an asteroid. And then it should stop. I said... Okay. Um, timer. Tilt down. Oh, man, I can't spell today. Tilt down. Are these broken? <laughs> I see. Oh, wow. What was I doing with this? Turn right. Oh, I was setting up some priorities. Yeah, it looks like a lot of this stuff broke during the build, I guess. Okay, it turns gyro left off. Wow. Okay, I don't know what any of that was about. So let me try to see if I can remedy that and get him going again. So is it... Did I ever turn on the connectors? I didn't. Let's try that. So he should eject them. And he is. And these bigger ores should just kind of float above him. If we turn on the spherical gravity. Show on HUD. You can see there's two fields. One field is trying to push them away from the skimmer. The other sphere is bringing them back down. And they're fairly low. So the idea is the ore should kind of hover right above for the most part. And then if we have another ship or station, such as the grav shaft, that would be in the vicinity to um, siphon that ore off. So he kind of holds it above him until something pulls it away. At least that's the idea. Pull it away! Okay, let's stop. And let me see what else I need to fix. So I'm going to probably go through all the sensors, all the timer blocks, just to make sure everything is doesn't have a ghost image in there. And hopefully I can figure out what I was doing, or if it's even needed. Okay, I've gone through a lot of it. At least all the sensors. They seem to be good. There are a lot of sensors here. So maybe we could go over what they all do. So the forward bounce one isn't being used. Forward thrust, basic. I might really looked at that one thrust up it actually has a thrust up if it gets if it detects something is like hitting the bottom of those drills and possibly about to cause damage hopefully it will just fly up a bit reposition and go that's the idea whether it works probably not um he has the same capability of rolling left to the right same as molar he has a safety shutdown for ships so in this case he's looking for ships um within um in his range. Okay, I'm going to put everything to me for now. That work? Something I have to hack? Nope. <laughs> okay. 
Info. Oh, the sensors are off. That's why they're not showing up. My mistake. Okay, let's just turn them on. Can we see that sensor? There should be a sensor in their front area for the safety. Safeties. So that one is for ships. Turn you on. Probably isn't. That probably should be on. So if a ship is in that area, it will stop and shut itself down. The other safety is actually in case it does like a sh flip or something. So that can stay on. And this can come on. And so this is just detecting asteroids. So under normal operations, there should never be an asteroid that comes in contact with this part of the ship, the upper part. So just in case a scenario arises that does allow that to happen, um, it will shut, shut itself down to protect itself. So that's good. Okay, so let's um, turn everything off so we can actually watch sensors and gravities. Get everything off the HUD. There we go. Mayday. I think the beacons are broken right now. I don't know if those are actually on or if we're getting a false reading. There is a bug where even an uh, off beacon will pr um, provide a beacon if there's an antenna on the ship or something like that. All right, still not doing good, and actually he lost some drills. Terrible. And why are you stuck? What are you doing, Skimmer? Are you fused to the asteroid, or are you this slow? No, I am this slow. Okay. So I'm not sure what happened. Let me go grab Tortwing, and we'll do some repairs. And try to figure out why that occurred. I don't. I still don't know if everything's set up 100%. I might need to double check some of the timer blocks still. I just checked the sensors. Let me out of the door, please. Let me out of the door. Alright. Well, nice thing. We have a projector on there. So we can just simply um, fix her. Relatively simply. Not built to completely rebuild herself, mind you. I guess you could have welders in there with spare parts. Can it not place that block? Okay, let's move her more out of the way. Because, yes, this is not acceptable. I forgot to set up the tilt down. Whoops. So it looked like before I was doing something else with the tilt down. It looked like I was disabling some of the other sensors from operating maybe they are conflicting like some of the roll ones i don't remember i might go look in a creative world to see exactly what those are supposed to be and see if they're needed um otherwise we'll get her repaired up and give her another go here before we say goodbye for today and then the next episode yeah i think we're gonna have to relocate the station a bit either a little bit and then we see how effective skimmer can get rid of this thing or if we feel we need to go away further We'll do that. Also, you can see ores are gathering up on this structure. Not in a good way. <laughs> so yeah, this needs work to allow these ores to get there. Although most of that's just stone, so... It can rot there for all I care. Okay, so here we are in a different world. Woo. So this is what it's supposed to be for the tilt down for... Um, skimmer. It's supposed to do the gyro, but then it's... Skimmer's actually able to turn. Molar doesn't have any turning abilities, but um, Skimmer does. So it looks like I was trying to limit when the ship would turn. So only when it's not currently tilting down, I think, will it try to turn. So that must be what I did. So when it... Um, what are we in right now? Tilt down in the field. So when it detects something... No, when it detects something, it turns on the turning. Okay. And then it, when it no longer detects it, it turns it off. And then it also turns off the gyroscopes as well. Okay, I can do that. I can replicate. <gasps> They're multiplying. We gotta get out of here. Okay, that should do it. I believe. I believe. All right. Skimmer, don't let me down now. Wait, should I take a... 
do you guys need another blueprint? No, because the blueprint isn't broken. It's just the way it got built that's broken, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Go. So upon turning him on, it should turn on all the sensors. It should also toggle the fields of those sensors. So like right now, he should be trying to tilt down. He's like sliding around. What are you doing? Uh, let's see here. None of your gyros are on. Tilt down. Tilt down should be on. Hmm. Sensor. Oh, I maybe not. Tilt down. Okay. Gyro. This time I'm going to override, and this time it's going to work. Tilt down, would you? And hopefully you actually don't orbit. Here, let me let me assist. Tilt down faster. And I'll slow you down. Let's get you back on the asteroid. So there he didn't get deployed properly. I need to add something that ensures his... Um, ensures that he's starting to tilt down as soon as he starts. And then he looks for an asteroid. So starts to tilt down. That's what Molar does. He starts to tilt down on the start sequence. And then... He goes through a cycle where he checks that tilt down sensor, and then if it still needs him to be on, it'll be on, but typically it gets shut off because at that point there's an asteroid in the field. Now, buddy, you're going to be really far away from the base, so you're just going to have to hold everything inside you for now. So I turned off the connectors. See, he's not very fast. What he's actually supposed to be doing right now is, I think, turning to the left, or turning to the right. What he's designed to do is if he's only mining something on one side and he doesn't detect anything over here, he would try to rotate so long as uh, there's asteroid in the tilt down field. So he should actually track a little bit. So he don't, won't go blindly around the asteroid. But for the most part, that is what he does. And then he's got some roll protection. Man, the game's loud. It'll be quieter for you. It'll sound like I'm shouting. He's got some rolls, so if he if he's heading towards like an area where there's asteroids sticking over, uh, we should also add a remote control block to this guy, so I can control him that way. And someone mentioned adding a remote control block to the crane, so we could control it from like the ground or anywhere. That's a great idea. Definitely do that. So yeah, if there was something above him, oh, I am. Our uh, sim speed is, is in the garbage. 0 0.35. 0 0.3. Oh, yeah. Feels like it. So if there was something that his top end was going to crash into, first he would try to tilt out of the way. If he gets to a point where he can't tilt out of the way, in time, he will he should stop and then fly up and try to get it. And tilt up, I mean, to try to get it, I think. You have to forgive me. It's been a while. I'm not too familiar with how his his workings go. And then why he's taking damage, or why his drills are taking damage, I'm not sure. That could definitely occur if he tries to turn into the asteroid. So maybe having him turn isn't a good idea. He looks like he's stuck. And I don't know why. Or he's just moving very slow. But I am not a fan of these big drills. I do hope they redo the, the model of them. Because you can get a little speck of ore, like a little rock that's not a floating object, catch this little lip right here. And because these drills don't clear out a huge area around them, that can happen. And then that usually gets up... That's usually why he gets hung up. At least that's why he used to get hung up. Is this lower lip would just get destroyed from this little speck of asteroid remaining. Or would catch on like a little bit of... A little bit of the lip of the asteroid like that. Okay, don't kill me. Don't kill me. We're watching. So are you going to do any advanced maneuvers for us? It's going to be incredibly slow. But you can see he's leveled pretty good, right? He is mining the asteroid appropriately. Uh, the reason he might have broke his drills too is just because I didn't have him set up properly yet. So he was getting sustaining damage that he maybe wouldn't normally occur. Let's hope that's it. Otherwise, we'll see how often... He's breaking, and see what we have to do to, to remedy that. He seems to be doing his job. So with that in mind, 
I will give you guys a blueprint of him. I'll wait till he's done, or let's see if he's full yet. Now, I should be able to still remote into him. You can check his inventories. And basically his drills should be the last thing that fill up. So we have some of them. Nope, they're still clearing. So he's not full yet. Um, let's hide empty. Clear. What do we got? Yeah, the cargoes are full. Some. But we probably have a lot of empty ones still. Connectors. So there's a lot of storage in them anyways. Not a lot, lot, but you know, enough. Not enough to keep him going indefinitely, though. He will have to unload. Cool. So this will help decrease our performance. <laughs> Every, initially, eventually, once he gets rid of enough of the asteroid, it should help increase our performance again. Aha. But yes, for the next episode, let's relocate the base far, far away and figure out what we want to do. Before we do that, though, we should at least get a good load of iron from Skimmer and get that funneled up the, the grav shaft before we relocate it. Well, thank you guys very much for watching. Check the description for the blueprint. Or it should just be on my workshop file. So the link will be to my workshop files. But you should find Skimmer in there. That's working! <laughs>